Hi everybody, this is Kwabana here with OpenMV and today I'll be showing off the new version of OpenMV IDE with the FPS improvement and a few other different fixes that we uh, added to the IDE to make your lives easier. So first, without further ado, check out the crazy FPS we're getting. In particular, um, your OpenMV cam is now going to be able to easily do 30 FPS and above while connected to your computer. So for example, with that kind of frame rate, you can really move the camera around and see exactly what's going on very, very quickly and easily. We're pretty proud of this accomplishment. Anyway, it should make it a lot easier for you to use your OpenMV cam now in high frame rate applications and so on and so forth. Moving on, due to a few uh, user requests uh, who managed to lose track of where the uh, sliders were on the OpenMV IDE, we now added uh, drawers so that if you uh, collapse something you can see where it is with the drawer. And these are on all four sides of the editor um, in the places where you can collapse things. Um, moving on, if you want to edit color tracking settings now, you can highlight the color tracking settings, right click on them, click edit with la edit lab threshold with threshold editor. And if you do that, it'll allow you to pull the frame buffer in and edit those thresholds. Let's just uh, give that a try. Okay, yep, and then once you say OK, the tool then will automatically replace the text with the new thresholds. And of course, you can load those back up again and edit them once more if you'd like. Uh, moving on. We've also fixed the open terminal prompt. So before previously, open terminal didn't quite work that well. Uh, this was due to an issue with the uh, way the script was sent. So now if you click that button um, and open terminal, it'll actually send the script out correctly to the camera. And as you can see, it's running there. Um, now, did you know you can actually transfer the image to your OpenMV IDE if you do something called image, if you do print image dot compress for IDE and this will actually transfer the image then uh, through a generic serial port versus the OpenMV IDE's uh, serial port. So if we just click there and run now, now the image as you can see is being transferred to the serial terminal. And again, the, the difference here is uh, this is a uh, standard COM port that we're using um, versus a uh, USB port that the IDE connects through. So by doing this, um, you could technically have a uh, wireless serial port, which you can then run scripts on your OpenMV cam with and send image data back and forth throughout. And if you want to get rid of that uh, space that was there, you just do end. Um, to get rid of the space in Python. Yep. Anyway. Okay, anything else? Um, oh yeah, so we fixed the color highlighting too. Um, that's been updated to give less bugs, uh, so more things should be highlighted, and you should have less problems. Um, the sc no, no script should crash the editor anymore. Other than that, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.